Hey guys, in this video I will be telling you about how to find a house in Canada. Now why I thought of making this video because many friends who I know or who are going to Canada texted me saying that hey how did you find the house or where to look for the houses. All this information which I am going to tell in this video, this might be available in some other video. But then I couldn't find a comprehensive video about finding a house. So that's why I am recording this video. Now the very basic thing uh, from where you should start is whether you want to live inside a university accommodation or outside. So what tip I have for this is like both has its pros and cons. If you are living on campus, you are close to university, you are close to library, you are close to you know all the resources which are being provided by the university. So you have that but on the other hand it's like way expensive than you know off campus housing. Other pros of living on campus is finding friends. It's very easy to you know find friends if you are living on campus. I have heard this from so many people that we have been to Canada we are here like from last one year I don't have any friend or things like that but if you are living on campus you get to meet people in the dining area in the common sitting area or you have a roommate you can do whatever you want. So those things are there. Now people prefer off campus because it's cheap as I said. After deciding this, so if you are a graduate student, I would suggest you to live on campus for one year and then you can move to off campus. That's what many people do who I met in Canada, like almost 90% people who were international students were like this only. They lived on, on campus for the first year and then they you know, shift it to off campus. Also in on campus, you can't cook. You do have a kitchen in a small cooking area, but you can't cook your regular meals. You have the meal pass or meal plan and everything is there. So you have to decide those things from there. So you're, uh, if you're planning to cook and save money there, then all, this also you cannot do. Now coming to off campus. So off campus housing depends on several parameters that in what time of the year you are going to Canada, which city you are going and uh, for which course you are going. You will be able to understand these things later on. So time matters because if you are going from a short term, you know, uh, exchange program or something like that, then and if you are going from uh, April to August, that is the you know best time to find houses because that is a summer uh, break in you know North American universities and many people list their houses as sublets and you can get a sublet at way cheaper price. You can just like, if you don't know about subletting, you can google about it. If you're going, if your classes are starting from September, then you have to find a house in a, uh, you know, regular way. You won't get like many sublets because the people who are listing the sublet will be also coming back to attend their classes. So where to start? I hope there was one single answer for this but then each city has their own sources, each university has their own you know way of finding a house. I know about some universities which might be applicable for you know on a broader level for most of the universities but then you have to navigate your own way. So, so the very first source of finding a house is off campus accommodation. So on google you can just type off campus accommodation. Suppose I was looking for University of Toronto off-campus housing, it's offcampushousing.utoronto.ca So here you see that there are many houses listed by uh, people on this. So, so there are pros and cons of also of uh, finding a house in off-campus because this is a secured way of finding a house. So if a landlord, uh, if a local person there wants to list uh, his or her property on off-campus website they have to you know give the uh, their ID and all those things owners of this or like the contacts available on this off-campus housing that whether this house is you know secure or what so you can look for houses here on off-campus website but as the options are limited so you uh, you get like high prices and you know all those drawbacks are there the next place to look for houses is Kijiji and Craigslist. So these two websites are like the OLX of uh, Canada. OLX is like an Indian uh, website to send second hand goods. So on, if you open Kijiji, 
you can you know select your area here i was just like uh, and then go on properties and all and then here you can you know see different properties listed certain red flags which you should take into consideration before you finalize your deal or you you sign the contract with your landlord because there are so many fake listings and people who are there to you know just take your money and you won't get anything in back same so this kijiji works for the whole canada because this is the most famous website if you are looking for houses in suppose vancouver so this craigslist is a better option than kijiji so you can see that there are listings here which contains photos and rents and all those details here you can just like uh, search for these things so there is one listing which i was looking at like it doesn't have any photos or anything so i will definitely stay away from this listing because i believe that the landlord or the land lady should at least show photos of their house if you still want to go for it you can contact them and you know ask a friend or you can visit the house personally and then finalize the deal but go for those which have photos and all the details in a you know very elaborate manner suppose so there was this house which has photos and they are looking for only female and all now other than kijiji and craigslist again there are city specific websites so i don't know about all the cities but for like suppose take calgary for example so there is the most famous website is rent faster you can type your uh, location and all those things on rent faster and it will show the houses on the map so this is a very handy way suppose you are going to you know any university there so you want to live in northwest calgary so you can click on this uh, balloons and it will show you the listing there so suppose this house is like just 400 dollars or this is 650 dollars so you can click on this you can see the photos of the house you can also see in which year it was built whether they allow pets or what whether they allow smoking smoking also contains two types of smoking one is normal cigarette and one is uh, weed so just like if you are looking for those things just make sure that the, your landlord is allowing else you will be screwed if you are smoking up without the landlord's permission and then you can see you can see the virtual tour here maybe this person has done uh, uh, you know written uh, all the details about the house it's lgbtq friendly so this also you, you can you know ask the landlord and then all those things are there after that if you are unable to find a house if if you have exhausted all these resources and you are still not able to find then where to go you can go to the so there are certain sources which uh, so i'll take you back again to the university where you can find uh, you, you know ask for help for, from certain people the first option is international office so you can uh, every university has international office you can email them and, and saying that you are having difficult time in finding a house so do you have a, uh, any advice or anything to offer they might have some student who is you know advising upcoming students for houses and all those things so that could be handy and then if that is not working out then there's another source uh, which you can you know contact is students union so all the universities have student union or at least most of them have students union and then you can contact the you know the office bearers of student union and ask for help they usually connect with any student who is living in that area and that person will guide you again all these sources like the university sources are not like fully proof sources i can't assure you that uh, your international office will help or the students union will help but again you can just like ask for help the next option could be your graduate or undergrad you know advisor you can email those people email that person that specific person and ask for advice if they have some write up or some document or some contact person then they will definitely help you if you are a phd student then you can just contact your supervisor who will connect you with your lab mate or a lab member or things like that or, or or who will give you you know his advice on how to look for the property so these are the things which you should uh, take into consideration while looking for a property now coming to red flags this i was not aware initially when i was going so i was really worried that how should i you know hand over the uh, first month rent or deposit to a complete stranger so before so how this how housing housing scam works so the first red flag is if the landlord is saying that another 
renter is willing to give more money or like is sealing deal just right now so if you want you send the money immediately and, and i will give the house to you that is the biggest red flag you just like con- say to the, the landlord that there should be a just full way of allocating the house you can you know schedule the viewing and after that only you can the second red flag is he or she is asking to to give the security deposit or first month rent even without seeing the property don't do this it's very basic common sense that you don't do this go and view the property in person the next thing i would like to say that if the landlord or landlady is saying that keys are or the documentation are with an agency or an agent but the money should be deposited to the landlord and that's why they can't show the property so that is another thing you should you know be cautious about the next thing i would suggest is like when the landlord is saying that he or she is out of uh, the country and unable to show the property again a big no when the landlord is asking the student to wire the money or the landlord is saying that first sign the contract and then only you can see the property but then don't let your guard down so tips how you can avoid these housing scams don't give your personal financial information like sin number or passport number and things like that if the landlord is asking for id proof give your college id or something also be very and practice good judgment don't let you as i was saying don't let your guard down when you are looking for an apartment if something feels wrong with the situation it might it may be wise not to pursue it these are the few tips which i wanted to give before you look for a house if you have more questions and, uh, and doubts or concerns or if you want write this in the comment section thanks for watching this video i hope this helps you and if you like the video you can subscribe if you don't want to subscribe then it's fine <laughs> take care bye bye